Hmm? Oh, sorry for the interruption. Uh, we will start with uh, water soluble vitamins. They are uh, essential coenzymes required for energy releasing mechanisms. Act as coenzymes of metabolism of protein, carbohydrates, and fats. Uh, as you know, the first vitamin is B1, that is thymine, B2, riboflavin, B3, niacin, B5, pentathenic acid, and vitamin C, ascorbic acid, B6 is pridoxine, B7, biotin, B9, folic acid, B12, cobalamin. Now coming to the B1 vitamin. B1 vitamin is thymine, then it is having anti beriberi factor, anti neuritic factor, and anurin. What are the characteristics of thymine? It is a colorless basic organic compound composed of sulfated pyridine ring. All living organisms use thymine. But it is synthesized only by the bacteria, fungi, and plants. It contains sulfur and nitrogen group, destroyed by alkaline and heat. Active form of thymine is thymine pyrophosphate (TPP). Dietary sources of vitamin B1. The foods high in thymine are the pork, fish, seeds, nuts, beans, green peas, tofu, brown rice, not white rice, then squash, asparagus, then seafood. What are the daily requirements of thymine? For adult male it is 1.3 milligrams, adult female 1 milligram, then pregnancy and lactation double the dose that is 2 milligram, in children it is 1.1 milligram. Mode of action of thymine, it allows the cell to produce energy through Krebs cycle. Actually this uh, pyruvate alpha ketoglycerate forms acetyl coin, coenzyme A, then uh, succinyl coenzyme A. What are the functions of thymine? Actually, thymine, it is a converting carbohydrate into energy through production of ATP. The maintaining peripheral nerve conduction is important and necessary for healthy mucous membranes. Helps in digestion of food provides strength to the muscles. It is very useful for proper function of the heart. When deficiency occurs, who are at risk? Usually it is because of excessive loss or hemodialysis and patients on long term diabetic therapy or chronic alcoholism also they are risk for vitamin B1 deficiency. This deficiency manifests that is dry beriberi neuropathy, wet beriberi congestive cardiac failure like that. Beriberi. Then worry case Karkov syndrome also it involves higher mental function. Then muscle weakness and wasting will occur. Then also ophthalmoplegia will occur, where double vision, the patient comes with double vision, ataxia and uh, actually altered sensorium like that, a patient comes in acute stage of thymine deficiency. Symptoms include dry beriberi as I told you, in the dry beriberi there is no edema, the wet beriberi there will be pitting edema in the trunk the limbs and face, it is pitting pedal edema. Then progressive wasting of the muscles, 
then there will be increase in the heart rate that is called as tachycardia up to 100 110 may be maximum for physical exertion and other physiological conditions but more than 110 120 is called as pathological tachycardia then the person will have labored breathing labored breathing means dyspnea then numbness and weakening of the extremities numbness and weakening of the extremities and tingling burning sensations in the hands and feet tingling and burning burning sensation in the hands and feet because of the sensory involvement the long fibers are the sensory fibers that is why it starts from there tingling and numbness in sense in the hands and feet which is called as glove and stocking type of paresthesia going for anesthesia actually symptom symptom similar to congestive heart failure will occur it is a slowly progressive course rapid deterioration and fatal circulatory collapse can occur this is a picture of the very very well common symptoms the loss of tender reflexes burning and tingling numbness in the feet painful and tender muscles that is very important in case of uh, this thing a uh, peripheral neuropathy tender uh, tenderness if there is painful muscle tenderness if you uh, calf muscle tenderness is a typical feature of peripheral neuritis then the patient will have confusion inability to speak the wrist drop can occur and there will be great weakness patient of course associated protein energy malnutrition also will be there in these type of patients you can see the very very there is pitting edema is there with dry skin and there is uh, pedicle hemorrhage also there it is a combined uh, uh, deficiency and also there is yellow discoloration because of hemolysis then the patient will have wernicke karkofer syndrome where vitamin b1 or thymine deficiency of spectrum of disease where uh, wernicke encephalopathy acute reversible stage the patient comes in doctor you have to have a differential diagnosis for alcoholic uh, neuropathy and uh, alcoholic uh, uh, encephalopathy like that then it goes for karkoff syndrome where it is chronic and irreversible in that way the patient comes with altered sense of pia weakness of all the four limbs then he is having this type of alcoholism you have to differentiate between is it because of toxic alcoholic effect or is it because of vitamin b1 deficiency that is why thymine is to be given uh, uh, actually as a essential drug and emergency drug thymine Wernicke Karkoff syndrome, Wernicke encephalopathy. Here it is, we can say wet brain, wet brain, where the global confusion, personal global confusion, then ophthalmoplegia, there is horizontal nystagmus is there, then ataxia, goa, you can say like that, uh, short form. Then Wernicke Karkoff syndrome, syndrome, where above symptoms with confabulatory psychosis, those are repeating the words and. Yeah, you will have loss of memory for recent events, and also that is the one where Wernicke's type of syndrome uh, is in acute uh, phase of psychosis. We have to differentiate. Then uh, Wernicke's encephalopathy in short term, loss of appetite, dramatic weight loss for one year, the patient will have drowsiness, eating nothing but sugary, high-fat foods he always craving for. then there is regular regulatory vomiting will be there uh, actually other medical problem as i told you the, due to malnutrition it will be there then memory loss difficulty in thinking clearly is also will be there acute the short term in the long term the person starts having mental confusion ataxia leg tremors will be there then rapid back forth movement of the eyes then double vision and also drooping of the eyelid inability to uh, 
walk also will be there. Then, for treatment in acute thymine deficiency, that is wet brain, you have to give 200 mg thymine IV three times a day until improvement of acute symptoms, followed by oral thymine 10 mg per day given until complete recovery. It may take one or two, three weeks. Then coming to the vitamin B2. Vitamin B2 is a riboflavin, also called as BT vitamin because yellowish green fluorescent compound soluble in water. The word riboflavin is derived from two sources. One is ribose, that is ribose sugar, then flavin, which is having yellow color. The way is involved in oxidation reduction reaction. What are the dietary sources of vitamin B2? Carrot leaves, papaya, eggs, liver, beans, cheese. These are the sources, food sources of vitamin B2 rich. Daily requirement, adult male 1.5 mg, adult female 1.2 mg, pregnancy and lactation 2 to 2, 3, 2.3 mg, children 1.3 mg. You can remember this as uh, 2 mg. Thymine is 1 mg, uh, riboflavin is 2 mg. Vitamin B2. What are the functions of riboflavin? Essential for normal growth and metabolism. It involves in the metabolism of carbohydrates, fat and proteins. And also it helps in digestion. In the nervous system, it helps in proper function of the nervous system whole. And it is very useful for normal tissue respiration in the cells, actually necessary for healthy mucous membranes, good for skin, nails and eyes, as you know that helps in production of the body against cancer also. Then riboflavin deficiency, actually there will be magenta color tongue, red beefy tongue we say. Then red beefy tongue is called as glossitis, then chelosis, angular stomatitis, then dermatitis, then chelosis, then cracks and sores in the mouth and lips, crack and sores. Itching and burning in the eyes can occur because of the dry skin. Then coming to the B3, also known as niacin, essential for metabolism of carbohydrate, protein, and fat. It is a colorless, water soluble, solid derivative of pyridine with carboxyl group that is COOH at Three position. It is a pyrimidine derivative and is a precursor of coenzyme NAD, that is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide NAD. What are the dietary sources of niacin? The yeast, meat, poultry, red fish, that is tuna and salmon, then cereals, legumes and seeds, milk, green leafy vegetables. These are the uh, important things. That is broccoli you can see, peanuts you can see, chicken, kidney beans, bell peppers, mushrooms. These are the foods high in vitamin B3, that is niacin. Daily requirement is 17 mg from adult male, 13 mg from adult female, Pregnancy and lactation 12 to 15 mg. Children, it is 15 mg. What are the functions of niacin? It is, it releases energy from carbohydrate, fats, and proteins, very important in the DNA synthesis. Deoxy ribonucleic DNA synthesis. Then production of estrogen progesterone and testosterone, necessary for healthy skin, nerves and digestive system. Actually, it helps to detoxify the body. The vitamin D is very essential for 
proper digestion of the food may improve arthritic symptoms including increase the joint mobility reducing the amount of anti inflammatory medications needed helpful in reducing migraine headaches as you know migraine headaches cyclical headaches hemicranial headaches uh, that is about migraine headaches then high dose of niacin medication are used to prevent development of atherosclerosis and to reduce recurrent complications such as heart attack and peripheral vascular disease but uh, in the trials of course the outcome is not so much good when there is used in high doses in that way uh, this is of course so many trials are there and then uh, that is the one which uh, peripheral vascular disease and heart attacks is also on in the atherosclerosis stage prevent what are the features of vitamin b3 deficiency it is called as pellagra characterized by four d's patient will have diarrhea dermatitis dementia and if you are not treating then the patient goes into death cases necklace pigmented and scaling rash forming a ring around the sun exposure area of the neck sun exposure area of the neck associated of course d vitamin is also with there in that way this is called as pigmented scaling uh, rash around the ring uh, where sun exposure area of the neck is there cases necklace treatment is 100 to 200 mg of nicotinamide three times a day for three days that is very very important coming to the b5 b5 vitamin is pentothenic acid it is a water soluble vitamin it was discovered by roger j williams in 1919 this word derived from greek word pantos meaning every way part of coenzyme a essential for metabolism of carbohydrate that is cho in then fat then protein dietary source of b5 portobello mushrooms broccoli sun dried tomatoes salmon fish avocado liver duck then eggs daily recommend is 10 mg for male adults and females also say then children it is half of the dose 5.5 mg what are the functions of b5 plays an important role in helping release of energy from sugars starches and fats that is uh, monosaccharide disaccharide polysaccharides like that then fats then they are essential for cell metabolism they are very helpful in the cholesterol metabolism the accelerated wound healing it is also used anti stress factor actually then allergies headaches arthritis psoriasis insomnia asthma infections have all been treated with some effectiveness using vitamin b5 the symptoms of vitamin b5 deficiency there will be paresthesia it is a sensation of tingling pricking or numbness of person's skin and burning sensation in the lower legs and feet that is burning feet syndrome or we can call it as madras feet syndrome previously we used to call it then joint as muscle legs fading of hair color then anemia will be there that is megaloblastic anemia associated iron deficiency is there microcytic and macrocytic anemia then reduced immunity impaired antibody response then headache depression insomnia fatigue all this may occur in pantothenic acid deficiency then b6 b6 is pyridoxine it is vitamin b6 is part of vitamin b complex group and its active form that is pyridoxine 5 phosphate serve as a cofactor in many enzyme reactions in amino acid glucose and lipid metabolism it is 
white crystalline substance soluble in water and also alcohol what are the dietary sources of vitamin b6 milk fish vegetables beans eggs peanuts and sunflower seeds fortified bread you can see uh, what are rich uh, foods yeah, potatoes also included in that uh, walnuts sunflower seeds like that what is the daily requirement requirement is 2 mg for adults then children it is 1.7 mg then infants 5 going to 0.4 mg what are the functions of b6 it makes antibodies antibodies are needed to fight many diseases maintain normal normal uh, nerve function promotes rbc production hemoglobin break down proteins keep blood sugar in normal ranges and assist in balancing the sodium and potassium levels production of serotonin dopamine noradrenaline and adrenaline in that way the vitamin b6 is a universal enzyme uh, what soluble vitamin which is vitamin is vital to the cells vital to the uh, growth development and also survival and uh, very important vitamin b6 products what produces deficiency of vitamin b12 as you know peripheral neuropathy and associated depression can be there then microcytic hypochromic anemia then loss of muscle control muscle weakness the persons can have cramps and numbness muscle cramps then hyperomastinemia and the cardiovascular risk factors can be there the treatment of vitamin deficiency they are 50 mg daily until resolution of the symptoms then coming to the b7 biotin also known as biotin or vitamin h or coenzyme r biotin is a coenzyme for carboxylase enzymes involved in the synthesis of fatty acids isoleucine valine and in gluconeogenesis in the liver these are foods it, it is present in carrots walnuts and then raspberry mushrooms almonds lentils spinach tomatoes avocados then sweet potatoes then china seeds onions peas cauliflower sunflower seeds these are the things uh, vitamin b7 food rich daily requirement is 100 to 200 microgram the children it is 50 to 200 microgram in infants it is 35 microgram vitamin b7 converts food into glucose which is used to produce energy produce fatty acids and amino acids for building blocks of protein the activate protein amino acid metabolism in the hair roots and finger nails cells maintenance of normal skin and vitro membrane normal function of the nervous system normal hair and normal psychological functions what are the deficiency features the person can have nausea anorexia scaling seborrheic dermatitis erythematous ra rash around the eyes nose and mouth and you have to make a differential diagnosis in sle in infants there is alopecia that is loss of hair the rash in one years and there will be hypotonia in infants the treatment of deficiency 10 mg daily of biotin you have to give then b9 that is niacin a folic acid vitamin b9 is folic acid also known as folic acid folacin or folate it is a water soluble vitamin it is a yellow crystalline substance 
and vitamin B9 is uh, in parsley, winter squash, lentils, collard greens, beet roots, black egg beans, green peas and uh, chickpeas, orange, Brussels sprouts, sunflower seeds, broccoli. These are the vitamin B rich foods, B9. What are the functions of vitamin B9? That is formation of RBC. Folic acid in combination with vitamin B12 is essential for formation and maturation of RBCs. Then for the nerve, it is necessary for growth and division of all body cells. Then hair and skin. It is essential for health of the skin and hair in pregnancy. It is an important nutrient for the pregnant woman and are developing the fetus where as you know spina bifida and other anantafil will occur. It improves lactation. Then it helps in DNA synthesis, DNA and RNA replication and it helps in homocysteine metabolism, homocysteine to methionine that is primary factors. Then it has neurotransmitter formation. Deficiency symptoms. Actually, the person will have megaloblastic anemia, then atrophic glycitis, then depression. Unexplained fatigability. Even I can say unexplained anemia then muscle weakness are the early features of uh, folic acid deficiency. Then coming to the vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is cobalamin complex hydromatics compound called as cobalamin which is cobalt containing parfum. It is freely available in water. What are the sources? Vitamin B12 is mostly found in animal products such as meat, shellfish, milk, cheese, almonds, red meat, eggs, chicken, crab. These are the sources of vitamin B12. What are the functions of B12? The B12 is very very essential for production of RBCs and it helps in the improvement of concentration, memory and balance also very very important and metabolism fat, carbohydrates, proteins and folic acid. This is very important and promotes growth and also increases appetite. Vitamin B12 deficiency will be manifested as megaloblastic anemia, pernicious anemia where intrinsic factor deficiency will be there, then there will be demyelination and irreversible nerve cell death is one of the important factors. Then loss of vibratory and position senses that is deep sensations are lost. Then the person will start having abnormal gait, then dementia, early dementia, early dementia we call it as Alzheimer's disease, after 85 dementia it is called as senile dementia. Before that if any person has dementia, the first feature, first two important features are loss of memory for recent events and also uh, bladder, loss of bladder, bladder control. These are the very important in early dementia. That is the one loss of bladder control and bowel control uh, which is I was referring to. The symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency as you know, Marian symptoms you can say. The person will have tiredness, weakness, tingling in hand and feet, pale yellow skin, 
loss of balance, nausea, decreased appetite, and weight loss. Then person becomes irritable. Then he will have frequent diarrhea. That is why chronic diarrhea, uh, when it is there, where before uh, the diagnosis of other causes, we are re replenishing with folic acid in that way, uh, diarrhea, uh, when we suspect, and megaloblastic anemia. Then sore and uh, red tongue will be there. Then there will be breathlessness, shortness of breath. Then frequent mouth ulcers will be there and also there will be disturbed vision, blurring of vision, that is the one. In thymic deficiency, it is diplopia. Here, disturbed vision. Then, that's how disturbed vision, we have to differentiate from what type of B complex the person is suffering from. Then, the person will have problems with memory. Memory, that is the how they have to see the P12 deficiency. Actually, the B12 to replenish body stores, you have to give 1000 milligram, uh, micrograms of hydroxychloroquine or valamic at 3 to 7 days interval, 6 IM injections are given, then for maintenance of therapy, 1000 microgram of hydroxycobalamin every 3 months have to continue. Injection follow. In that way, I uh, will continue with one more slide where details of the uh, vitamin B12 and folic acid uh, of that I will continue now. Now I will give you some other more uh, pictures with details of uh, extra conditions like as you know now this replication. Uh, there are 30 recognized vitamins. To summarize, I am just giving you to summarize the fat soluble vitamins uh, uh, are stored in fatty tissue of the body and the liver. 
fats and vitamins are easier to store than water solvents and can stay in the body as reserves for days some of them for months fat soluble vitamins are absorbed through the internal tract with the help of fats that is lipids they are vitamin a d e k they are all uh, fat soluble vitamins uh, what is our vitamins do not get stored in the body for long they soon get excreted in the urine because of this water soluble vitamin need to be replaced more often than fat soluble vitamins as i told you that is white vitamin c and b complex vitamins and this is that is what summarizing i am giving you a classification of vitamins vitamin a then b complex then c then d e k like that vitamin b is b1 b2 b3 b5 b6 b7 b9 and b12 and in summary in one this thing i am giving you for your uh, reminding right vitamin a of course fat soluble vitamins next time i will be taking but now i will be giving the a uh, total summary as you know vitamin a is required 900 uh, microgram it causes neck blindness vitamin b1 1.2 mg it causes beriberi then vitamin b2 1.3 mg erythroflaviniasis glasitis and glastomatitis vitamin b3 uh, it requires 16 mg that causes pellagra vitamin b5 uh, is required 5 mg paresthesia then b6 1.3 to 1.7 mg anemia peripheral neuropathy like that then b7 30 microgram uh, dermatitis enteritis like that a b9 400 microgram that is folic acid it causes middle vascular anemia deficiency during pregnancy associated with blood defects and uh, neural tube defects vitamin b12 2.4 microgram it causes pernicious anemia and middle vascular anemia pernicious anemia means intense fat deficiency then vitamin c 2.4 microgram it is also a part of pernicious anemia and bleeding tendencies and uh, vitamin d 10 microgram hyper vitamin d then vitamin e 15 mg where it increases congestive heart failure seen in one large randomized study then vitamin k requirement is 120 microgram increases coagulation in patients with on warfarin the combination therapy how it is going to help that's what i was telling you i am giving the summary benefits of combinations play essential role as coenzyme in the metabolism of nervous system thus this combination normalizes the nervous cell metabolism it supports the generation of nerve fibers and myelin sheath the myelin is a fat white substance that surrounds the axon of some nerve cells forming an electrically insulating layer it is essential for the proper functioning of the nervous system by activation of metabolism and the natural repair mechanism the combination of these three vitamins show better efficacy than that of individual component in addition vitamin b1 b6 b12 promote body's own repair mechanism and work in pain management now thiamine of course stressing the need of uh, the each vitamin just i am giving you good for nervous system involved in dna and rna production digestion muscles heart alcohol damage nerve tissues to break down fats proteins and carbohydrate and production of atp adenine triphosphate the primary form of energy to treat alzheimer's disease as i told you then certain cancers and source of vitamin b1 once again for reminder liver yeast egg yolk red meat nuts fruits vegetables 
Deficiency, as I told you, repeat. Uh, I, I wanted to give you more pictures in that way. Deficiency, the person will have anxiety, depression, muscle cramps, hair loss, as you can see, and uh, skin crack, and then loss of appetite, emotional disturbance, irregular heartbeat, in extreme cases, that is very, very, that is associated with alcoholic liver disease, there will be very, very, wet, very, very, and dry, very, very, like that I told you. Then, the overdose. Here, no danger, it dissolves in water, so that there is not so much of overdose toxicity. I wanted to show you these figures in that way. Vitamin B6, the good for immune system, preventing skin conditions, nerve problems, heart diseases like that. Helps the body to absorb protein and carbohydrate. Lower chance of rheumatoid arthritis. Required for synthesis of mood influencing hormones, as I told you already. Then red blood cell formations. Now it B6 is very, very essential. It is fish, banana, chicken, pork, eggs, vegetables, peanuts, milk and dried beans. These are the source of vitamin B6. That is pedoxy. Then deficiency causes anemia, depression, confusion, dermatitis, the pink eye and neurological symptoms including epilepsy, seizures can occur. Okay, of course, you should not give more of this vitamin because there may be nerve damage can occur. That's why you should not give this thing. That's why this, this was called as beauty hormone. Cobalamin. That is vitamin B12 is good for making red blood cells in the bone marrow and formation of other nerves. The metabolism of fat, proteins and carbohydrates. Then it helps in the heart diseases. Also helps our bodies to absorb folic acid and iron. The vitamin cobalamin is present in eggs, fish, poultry, meat, liver and milk seeds. Deficiency. The person starts having tiredness and fatigability, memory problems, anemia, peripheral neuropathy. The tiredness and fatigability, I want to tell you, the fatigab fatigability is during the exercise, tiredness is after the exercise. That's all. And that is the difference between tiredness and fatigability. The person becomes tired uh, for, uh, after some work. Uh, then during work also you will have uh, the weakness. That is how tiredness and weakness, then going for generalized right weakness, then uh, dyspnea, like that we can say. That is symptoms of uh, how you analyze. This, of course, vitamin B12, there is no always uh, danger, but as it dissolves in water and is passed in urine. In short, B1 helps body to convert food into energy. Then B6 supports the immune system. Uh, B12 involves in the metabolism of every cell in the body. The DNA synthesis. Indications, as I told you, but just memory. Uh, neuritis, that is inflammation of the peripheral nerve or nerves, usually causing pain and loss of function. Neuritis, then neuralgia, because of the nerve, especially in the head or face, that is radiculopathy, we can say, that is neuralgia. Then cervical syndrome can appear with or without neurological disorders, is a common age-related condition that affect the joints and the discs in the neck. Lumbago, pain in the muscles and joints of the lower back. Then sciatica, pain affecting the back, hip, outer part of the leg caused by compression of pain card, nerve root in the lower back. It may start as sciatica, radiculopathy. Then myalgia, the main pain in the muscle or group of muscles is one of the important things. Trigeminal neuralgia, of course, involving one or more of the branches of trigeminal nerves and often causing severe pain. 
Facial UI is a nerve responsible for sensation in the face and motor functions such as biting and chewing. That's why facial neuralgia. Supportive treatment in facial paralysis also it will be of supportive treatment. Of course, you have to give one to tablets three times a day. The side effects may be there very rarely. Hypersensitive reaction may occur and sensitive disturbance may occur. Contraindication. Vitamins in combination, of course, hypersensitivity, any of the active ingredients should not be given. Then interactions, drug interactions can occur. No drug interactions have yet to be reported. But neomycin, chloramphenicol, amino acid, histamine H2 receptor antibodies may reduce vitamin B12 absorption. What is the precaution you have to take? When combination this combination should be avoided in case of any hypersensitivity thymine or cobalt or any other component of these ingredients. Thank you. Now, uh, this B complex uh, have dealt with clinical manifestations and the treatment, and next I will be taking off fat soluble vitamins, especially very important as of course vitamin A will be dealt in detail by the ophthalmologist then actually vitamin E and uh, E uh, will be dealt with E and even K are associated of course will be dealt with uh, obstetric gynecologist then actually vitamin D uh, will be dealt with uh, uh, of course medical and orthopedics uh, like in that way the vitamin D associated along with uh, vitreal deficiency is very very uh, important uh, cl clinical manifestations. In that way fat soluble vitamins we will start with uh, the vitamin D next time in that way uh, thank you very much uh, for your uh, patient hearing. Thank you. And all the best for your internets. <laughs>